New floor plan at the time of this filming. This is a 19 QB Geo Pro here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Comes in uh, just over 3,000 pounds. I think this one weighed uh, in with the air conditioner upgrade at 3,070 pounds. This stands in sort of negative mirror image contrast to the also popular 19 FBS Geo Pro you could find here at Halet RV. They both have a, a front queen bed. They both have a, a rear corner bathroom that is pretty decently spacious. But the 19 FBS has a sofa slide and a kitchen on the door side. By contrast, this has a kitchen slide with a dinette on the door side, which means this one also picks up campsite windows, which is something that I know a lot of people are looking for. What's kind of cool is they could build this model with no slide and it would still rock. This thing would still be great. I've got the slide retracted, meaning uh, in currently, and you notice it's not really stopping us from doing anything. In point of fact, you don't even have to walk sideways and do a little bit of what I call the travel trailer two-step to get through here. If you're parked somewhere for the weekend, you just don't even feel like moving the slide out, which not that it's hard with just push button ease of operation, you can. But whether you need to get in here, you need to, you know, get to the bathroom in transit. If you're parked somewhere like at a storage facility where you don't have the ability to open the slides out to get to something, this is a fully accessible model with the slide closed. The slide just makes it that much better. Now, if you're a fan of these videos, this floor plan is going to look pretty familiar. It's essentially been inspired by teardrop rear bath floor plans like the 170S Winnebago or 17RB Hummingbird. However, this one has a, uh, a 7 foot 4 inch exterior body, which is an odd measurement. It's 7 foot 4 outside width, as opposed to 6.5 foot body. And that means open space in here. Remember when the slide was closed, I could easily get through it? That's one of those areas you're going to experience that space. The other thing is, it doesn't have that inefficient, although cute looking, but inefficient teardrop shape of some of those other campers. It has a more traditional camper profile. That gives you a greater total cubic foot of interior space, which means you gain the ability to maintain better, more functional overhead cabinet space that teardrop campers just really can't do because they're kind of that cute, funny shape. Um, the uh, end result here is something that should be significantly heavier. But with Rockwood's extreme use of all aluminum skeletons and a lot of Asdell in the lamination of this one that we'll talk about when we get outside, they keep the weight of this thing in check pretty darn nicely. And with the, the small nature of this body and the smooth skin and everything, this is going to still tow extremely well. Now, we have no need for any carpet in here, so it's completely carpetless. It is easy cleaning, no vents in the floor. Super, super pet friendly as well as a result. And with that really light, bright interior decor that they have here, very modern looking colors, uh, it is uh, it, it makes the camper look and feel bigger. What also helps is the fact that they have this five inch extreme vaulted roof here. What they actually have done, when you vault a roof, you can really only laminate on like a two and a half inch arch. So what they did is they laminated two sections and then seamed them together very much in the same way that a uh, expansion bridge would in a sense be seamed together, just built to not have all the expansion of the bridge. So it gives us plenty of headroom in here. Now as tall as I am, this would be the lowest point inside where that little knob is hanging down and you see that 6'3", I can walk right under this thing. So this is very comfortable even for bigger people like me to be able to get through. Now. They're very good about using high intensity lighting in these case in point. I mean, it's like night and day, almost literally. They also did a great job of placing the entertainment center on this one. Speaking of which, let's take a look at this. Last year, the TV was optional. This has become standard. This is a 12 volt powered TV. So you've got this handy 12 volt HD TV, great for off grid use, which is exactly what a GeoPro is made for. If you are a boondocking enthusiast, you need to have these guys on your radar. You'll continue to see why as we go. So the TV, obviously 12 volt, but um, it also has its own built-in DVD player, which allows them to save some space up here. And instead of having to go to this giant entertainment unit, they can go with a very simple streamlined, but also very nice, Furion Bluetooth system that also has HDMI input. So if you do want to add a little Chromecast or Roku stick, you can. Now the little switch over here will activate your Wi-Fi Ranger, which will give you easier access to mobile data sources and more reliable connecti uh, connectivity to them. Um, you will see that your side windows 
have the like blackout motorhome style roller shades on them and our front windshield does have that pleated shade that you can pull down for privacy there which is really helping us because it's uh, a beautiful like uh, fall afternoon right now like I, I'm very happy I don't have to wear a coat or anything but it's also making camera work tricky if it weren't for the better shades that we have here. Now you've got your queen bed up front east west bed as is uh, the case in all of these like some people say well why can't you make the bed walk around? You could, but you'd have to extend the RV, which would make it longer and heavier. And those are two things that uh, stand in direct contrast to what GeoPro is accomplishing. A very, uh, not exactly, but similar layout to something like this might be a 189 or 191 Apex Nano here at Halo RV. They're a little longer, a little heavier, but they do have a north-south bed if that is your interest level. Now, we mentioned how this has uh, a normal overhead profile. Let's take a look at the storage that that offers us, shall we? We have pocket screwed cabinet styles, just like a mini light or an ultra or a signature Rockwood. They're very consistent on their construction. Now the Geo Pro does deviate from the plan in a few ways. Again, just simply purely due to extreme weight sensitivity. Now this is a single post dining table. However, notice those two little brackets against the wall and then notice the placement of that post mount in the floor. They have the post mount set far away from your knees so it's not a knee knocker and with those wall mounts it actually will maintain a decent level of stability. Now obviously we have a, a single guest sleeper here um, and both sides of the dinette if you note have these handy little drawers that pull right out as well as a storage pocket right under the bed there. So any little pocket they possibly could they gave you storage and they made the storage come to you, which is a, uh, a nicer, simpler, easier feature right here. But, not to be outdone, you've also got a pretty decent amount of uh, storage in this little kitchen. Not the biggest, you know, kitchen in the world, but effective for a neat little runaround weekend or minimalist camping. So compared to a lot of teardrops, which usually will put a microwave above the refrigerator in a kitchen slide, you can see you just have a nice chunk of storage here. Now you do have a gas electric fridge below that still, but they move the microwave down below the countertop level, more in the position where you would traditionally find an oven. It just logically makes sense, it feels organic, and it gives you bigger cabinet space that's easier to reach. I think it's a really smart design. I like the handy little barley pop opener that we have there next to that sink, and notice, easy reach appliance outlet right up front there. Now, nicer stainless sink, and take note of the fact that there's a good chunk of countertop space behind that. Kitchen slides are something Rockwood has been doing for a long time, and it's something that they're very good at. And this little flush mount stovetop that you're seeing right here, it's very, it's pretty much something straight out of their A-frame campers that they use. That is, it's a awesome way to give you countertop prep space or cooking space whenever you want one or the other, you know? Now, um... Over here, you can see that you do have a little handy utensil organizer, which is pretty darn cool. And then, what's also nice, is you've got dedicated pantry space right when you walk in the door. But, you could convert that into hanging closet space because these are adjustable, removable shelves here. Now, one other neat little feature, something I don't want to forget to show you, because I almost missed it my first time through the camper. As I was taking pictures, I sat down and I looked over here, and I saw a little pillow side pop-up power tower. So you have a handy little phone charging station, place for lights, fans, alarm clocks, maybe just a little CPAP stand. And being CPAP friendly is something little campers like teardrop type things traditionally do not do well. But we don't have that problem here in this Geo Pro. Now moving back here into this bathroom, you note that the bathroom door is slotted. It's not because the good people at Rockwood don't know how to properly cut a door. It's by a uh, very well uh, thought out intention because Rockwood uses bigger max air vent fans. So if you are off-grid camping where you have 12 volt power pretty exclusively available, you don't have park power without a generator, well, you're going to love this thing because you can open those windows either beside the dinette in the kitchen because uh, the kitchen window does open, by the way, for airflow. It's not just viewing window. And uh, your bedside windows and get some awesome airflow rolling through here. And all the hot air that's at the top of the camper gets sucked and exhausted right out of this thing. Plus, it does have a roof vent cover built right into it. Now, look at this bathroom. This is an awesome rear bathroom, full vanity. And I love that elevated shelf right there with the little like toothbrush slots in it. That kind of stuff seems hokey, but God bless America, it's useful. And great counter space in here. That's something they did very, very well. Now, you also have good floor space 
And, uh, you know, good elbow room and hip room when you're on the toilet. You have plenty of leg room. You have room to actually get dressed back in here. You have a large and in-charge linen cabinet built right into the bathroom. You also have the uh, shower here. Uh, e easy step-in entry. You know, not like a big tub. Now, they put the skylight all the way against the side so that you have maximum potential headroom. But notice, too, how you have protective shower wall surround paneling and that handy little shower caddy there so your body washes and soaps are not constantly falling off those worthless corner plastic shelves. As I mentioned inside, this does have an all-aluminum skeleton. That, plus the just generous use of Asdell in their laminated processes, keeps this thing reasonably light despite its size. Because remember, this basically has the weight of a six and a half foot body and something that's nearly seven and a half foot wide. It's a foot bigger, yet barely, if any, heavier. Pretty awesome accomplishment. The uh, front windshield with that uh, shade that they have in that front nose cap, God bless, does that give it a look. Plus, when you open that shade, when the sun's not billowing in it when I'm trying to do camera work, it makes this little camper look and feel not so little. And extra windows is something that this one does very well. And I think that this is going to be a, a breakout star. The 19 FPS has been very, very popular. There's nothing wrong with it, as has the 19 FD, but I think this one's going to make itself known very quickly. Now, notice too that we have like a, a normal dual propane system with automatic regulator up there, just like a you know, traditional big camper. So if you are going to go off grid, you have the extra capacity. A lot of small campers have a single tank. Now, you also have a different chassis on this, which is another weight savings I haven't discussed yet. It's made with high strength, low alloy steel. It's a thinner Z frame, but yet it's stronger. That's, that's what higher quality steel can get you. There's nothing wrong with the traditional I-beams you find in most travel trailers. They just spent more money on a better chassis here. And it's pretty much been my experience that RVs that ride on this type of chassis tend to hold up better. Now, right below the water heater, there is a little sewer hose caddy just peeking its head out there. So it's just one less thing that you need to occupy your storage space with. And we're gonna look at that front pass through as we come around the back side. Speaking of the back side, on the back side of the kitchen here, they gave you a little outside storage pocket, and this is something Rockwood just does all over the place. Uh, nerdism number 37, never let an ounce of space go to waste because every ounce counts. And even this little infrequently used offside baggage door still has a nicer magnet latch to make life simple and easy on it. Um, you have all LED tail end markers. They last longer, they're safer because they're brighter, and flash faster. We also have the ability to add a backup camera or a uh, in-motion monitoring camera. The difference just being how quickly the system uh, refreshes and, you know, the budget. <laughs> full outside utility shower is also handy. And note that this does have a full ladder on the back because this does have a fully walkable roof. And we'll get up there just as soon as we get done taking a look at the uh, patio side of the RV that we're looking at right now. Let's get that awning open. Now, just like the Big Brother Rockwood Mini Light, the Geo Pros have a, you know, easy push button power awning, full length LED lighting, tilt and lock arms, auto rain dump feature. What's also nice is they have it really intelligently positioned so it very easily clears the entry door without needing to block like a big bedroom window. And by having that door side dinette, remember, you're getting nice door side windows as well. A lot of good stuff to talk about over here. Uh, we're gonna start right over on the door. I like the uh, touchpad deadbolt lock. So if you are gonna go kayaking, biking, something like that, you don't wanna risk losing your keys. You know, little inner tubing down the creek. It's also an anti-slam door that also has an easy closed screen door, that little auto retract band. I mean, they've done everything they could on this little thing. And again, remember, you have a full real window in the door but it does still have its own privacy shade you can pull down. So it's not like you're ever gonna lose that privacy. The same bigger entry handle you find on the Mini Light, the same uh, dual step, more ride stable steps with those adjustable foot feet right there. So, I mean, this thing is, it's super sturdy, super stable. And I think those are more important on smaller coaches than bigger coaches, because smaller coaches will tend to rock and roll and jostle and wobble as people come and go more easily than a bigger RV. Um, so you've got the, again, the stabilization of the four corner jacks plus the fact that these steps are holding your weight instead of the coach having to hold your weight when you come and go. It's an awesome one-two stability punch. I'm also really glad they finally started putting the Asdell stickers on the side of the trailer here because I've said for years that GeoPros have Asdell since they first came out because I knew they did because I'm close enough to where these are built. I've physically walked the factory production lines, but they never put the sticker on, so nobody believed me. <laughs> uh, so over here, couple neat things. 
Rockwood's always about giving you options and choices. These include a floating Coleman camp grill. And these are excellent for being off the grid where you can get more wind because you're not surrounded by so many other trailers or trees or whatnot. And that's why uh, this higher output uh, grilling system here has a little bit better, you know, a wind blocking type system going on with it. Plus the fact that the, the higher output, it's harder to blow out. Now, this feeds off separate uh, pressurized propane bottles. Down here, you notice in front of the tire, we still have a gas grill quick connect. So if you do prefer a traditional uh, uh, gas grill, RV grill type system, you still have that available to you here. But note your little side prep shelf, uh, just like the outside kitchens of a Rockwood Signature, we still have galvanized rolled steel. So if you leave this thing outside and it rains, nobody cares, nobody cares. The frameless windows just look amazing on this little space age critter right here. And once again, the white sidewall plus the white awning uh, lends itself to better lighting at night under this awning with that full length LED light strip there. Now you've got a uh, full pass through compartment, which is absolutely awesome. This is something little campers don't traditionally get. And you can see how you have that side mount solar prep plug to the right of it. This is the perfect place to keep solar panels. Although, you may choose not to even invest in one because this does have integrated roof uh, solar already uh, installed on it. Now, for some reason, uh, the first GeoPro video I put out this year, somebody saw the little Luan shield over there, which is protecting wiring for the RV, and seemed to think it, the camper was falling apart, when instead Rockwood went to the extra effort of making sure that shifting cargo didn't damage your RV. So thank Rockwood for thinking ahead for you. But how about an easy way to get to see the all aluminum structure in this RV? And notice how they're giving you uh, larger baggage doors on both sides of the camper, as well as those magnet holdbacks on both sides of the camper. And I gotta tell you, this thing with that awning open, does it just not have, does that just not scream summer fun? That just screams summer fun right there. And I thought, hey, why not take a jaunt on top of this little Geo Pro? Because I can, because it does have a fully walkable roof. That's one of the benefits of that really aggressively arched structure right there, is that it distributes weight extremely well, extremely well. Kind of like a big fifth wheel with a double vaulted roof, this is gonna be similar. Now over here, we've got our Wi-Fi Ranger, which to oversimplify it, is a built-in router for your camper, a signal access point. It does more than that, but if you have questions, give us a call. We've done separate videos on it. Up front here, this is where you can see how the cap kind of sleeves over the nose because the actual roof goes uh, about six, eight inches under that nose cap. So it's just kind of one of those areas where what they're doing here is they're taking a critical seam, your front termination stream, and moving it from a high stress point to a low stress point where the direct wind buffeting is not gonna beat it up. Now notice that when you add the air conditioner like we've done here, it's a low profile 13,500 BTU. And I stress low profile because it means that it does not uh, increase the overall height of this camper one bit. The max air vent cover in the back is still the tallest point on the camper. So the over, uh, overall tallest point specs that we posted at the five second mark of this video, those are always going to be accurate here. Now last year, the solar panels uh, were optional. They've become standard. So you've got a 100 watt solar panel system pre-installed from the factory level in this thing. And I think that's one of the coolest things, keeping your batteries topped off. Uh, even if the thing is just in storage, having that little battery tender going is very, very handy. And let's talk about the Max Air Vent cover. The fact that it's here. Uh, anywhere in any Rockwood travel trailer, you get a Max Air Vent fan, you get the bigger Max Air Vent fan cover. So this thing is awesome for even rainy day airflow. These are cool. Very left to center, very popular, very neat little campers, guys. But as you can see, we've got hundreds, closer to 500, actually, different offerings here at Halet RV. Um, they all bring with them neat little advantages, neat little qualities that the others don't. They all have their perfect little features. And that's why we carry so many, to help you dial in on the one that you're looking for. So whether it's new or used, Hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We do it all at Halet RV, with the exception of hidden dealer fees. Those we don't do. We'll leave those to the big box stores. And nobody, nobody lives, quote, too far away to work with us here at Halet RV. Don't make that assumption. Give us a call. Let's see what it comes out to, and we'll get you camping like we've done with so many people before you. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.